Hey Romans, I have some exciting news for you today. I found a way to integrate the latest version of Excolidraw into Rome. This way you get access to images, you get access to sticky notes with word wrapping, you even get access to live collaboration mode with people inside Rome, but also outside Rome. Let me show you how this works. So I created a smart block for this and I call this smart block Excolidraw. And if I would be able to spell the smart block, then you would see that when I run the smart block, then an instance of Excolidraw is inserted into your drawing. And on this instance, you can simply paste images and you can draw, you can do whatever you want. It is an instance of Excolidraw with your drawing and you can see that I have these two instances here. I could have multiple, of course, on multiple pages. Let me talk to you a bit about what's behind the scenes. So first of all, this instance is really an iframe that is pointing to a secure collaboration room on the excolidraw.com servers. So what does that mean? First of all, that means that these rooms are really safe. They have a 128-bit strong AES encryption and they store your data on the servers. That data includes the entire drawing plus the images. So everything you see here are on the server and that's why when I close this and open it, then you can see loading scene. So every time when you open up the drawing, this scene is loaded from the Excolid Draw servers. Now, if there's a drawing that is particularly important to you, then you should actually save it to disk and save that file for yourself as well. Currently, Excolid Draw will store your drawings indefinitely but they might change their policy and altogether it's good practice to keep a safe copy of files that are important to you. The second point I want to highlight is if you click this collaboration button, first of all, you can specify your own name and when you're collaborating with others, this is helpful because then they see who's collaborating on the other side. But also if you copy this link, and you share this link with others, then they can collaborate with you on this drawing. Similarly, if you want to edit this drawing in full screen mode, then you can open up a new browser tab, paste this link, the scene will load, and you can continue the editing here. Whatever you edit here will, in fact, come back and be present in your drawing in Excolid Draw. Now there's one more thing I want to draw your attention to. Now you see that there are two collaborators, but really I've closed the window. So what's going on? Sometimes this number jumps up to three, depending on how you opened and closed windows in Rome. This doesn't mean that someone is hijacking your drawing and is there. It means that you probably need to go to another page like this. And when you open the other page, and you come back, probably by that time, we'll have only a single collaborator and it will clear up. So typically don't panic when you see an increasing number there. Those are most probably phantom participants. Now there are some limitations that come with this. So one limitation is when you switch this to dark mode, and then you reopen the page again, it will open up in light mode. Unfortunately, right now with collaboration mode, your canvas color is not stored. So that is unfortunately a given that I'm not able to do anything about. Your stencil library will be the stencil library in your browser. So that will work as expected. I've published the smart block in the Rome.js smart block store. Hopefully David will release it to the public in a couple of days. Until then, I'm going to include a link for you in the video description from where you can install this script and you can play with it in your own Rome graph. 
enjoy drawing, enjoy Rome, enjoy drawing in Excalibur. Thank you.